None of that. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, I'm your host, Anora Filet, and you are watching Scrambled. Today, we have a very important episode. Chris Garrison is joining us. Now, many of you may have seen Chris in the past, but there's something you did not know about him. Chris is not an ordinary man. Chris is a Boy Scout. So My Chris, secret life. Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. Are you a real Boy Scout? Yeah, I think, I think I am. You know, I try every day to embody what a Boy Scout is, you know. Embody. I try to make my body the body of a Boy Scout. How come? Because I feel like I have an obligation to make my body the body that my body can be. So, I hear you saying that you're a Boy Scout because of maybe insecurities with your body? Um, is that why you're wearing those pants? Okay. Uh... So you're not affiliated with Girl Scouts? No, I believe that women are uh, the lesser sex, you know? Like, they're, they're not people. Coming, coming from a Boy Scout? Coming from... Well, no, there are some people who disagree with me within the Boy Scouts, but I believe that I am the right one and they are wrong. That's to be expected. Um, do you experience a lot of gay men... In your troop? Heaps of them. Literal heaps. Mm -hmm. You walk in a can, there's just a pile of them. Do you agree with the way uh, Boy Scouts fought to keep gay men from your troop? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's a sin. Tantamount to murder. Mm -hmm. And it's just as evil as mixing fibers in your outfits. So Leviticus. This belief has always been a part of your life? Oh. I've rigidly held up to it. Interesting. Uh, do you think when you walk down the streets of Davis, do you think people judge you differently for your affiliation? Do they think, wow, that man is a Boy Scout? I think it's more that I judge them for not being affiliated. Mm -hmm. Like I'm judging you right now for not being affiliated. You city slicker. So you think because I am a city person that mm -hmm. I shouldn't join Boy Scouts? I think that if you want to change and become something that's better than subhuman, then you should join. Yeah, I, you know, Chris, I just, that's not, I don't think that's going to work. So, you say you're a Boy Scout, but you're not just a Boy Scout, you're also an Eagle Scout. How do you become a Eagle? You have to kill a bald eagle and eat it. Mm -hmm. You have to. It's what the Native Americans believe that by killing and eating your opponent, your adversary, you take in some of their life force. So it's a very ancient belief. So the badges have nothing to do with no. moving up in rank. No, absolutely nothing. Do you think you're being groomed to join the military? I think I'm being groomed to be my scoutmaster's cabin boy, if you will. You know. Uh, do people ever mistake you for an eagle? What kind of question is that? It's a question. Answer the question, Chris. No. I'm a human. Uh, what sort of privileges have you gained with life as a Boy Scout? Well, I've gained the privilege of um, being able to wear lots of khaki, mm -hmm. sashes, neckerchiefs, just a whole whole range of options and style and fashion that are not available to the larger population. Do you wear these styles at school, church, temple? In the shower. Just the shower? Just the shower. That's understandable. Uh, yeah. So what's next for you as a Boy Scout? Well, my ultimate goal is to secede from society mm -hmm. and live in the woods on a diet of mushrooms and laxative berries um, but that's going to take some work as I have to build up my gastrointestinal system to the point where the laxative berries will not only uh, they won't be as effective you know can we expect to see you in the forest with your sash on only my sash I'm going to have it lengthened so it functions as a sort of loincloth to cover up my uh, you know 
the things that Boy Scouts and Boy Scouts alone have. Do you think that you will ever be removed from Boy Scouts for maybe that kind of behavior? Because that does not seem a part of the Boy Scout lifestyle. You don't seem part of the Boy Scout lifestyle. You know what, Chris? Maybe I am. Think about that. Maybe you aren't. So you're going to live in the forest. Yeah, or the desert, or the mountains, or the bottom of a lake if technology reaches that point. Is that what Boy Scouts are expected to do? You're being trained to live at the bottom of a lake. Yeah, it's, uh, see, what most people don't know about the Boy Scouts is that it's not really, it's said to be for grooming character and men, but really they're trying to turn us into an advanced race of frogmen who can live underwater and reproduce asexually. That's the end game of the Boy Scouts of America. Our children, our sons, that we're sending into Boy Scouts. The fear of them turning into gay men. That's not what we should Totally unfounded. Frogmen. Are you comfortable with this? You don't feel like this is being forced onto you? I did at one point, but then they removed the cortex of my brain that allows free thought, so... Uh, do people treat you as an elite member of society when you wear your sash? Uh, they often mistake me for a Miss Universe contestant, but I'm quick to dissuade them. Do you think that you are living kind of a Peter Pan fantasy lifestyle? You know, you say that you're going to continue wearing your sash for life, but I hear that you are sent on. I don't think I'm living a Peter Pan lifestyle because I never found a lamp with a genie in it. Okay. That has nothing to do with Peter Pan. Peter Pan is so much more. Was he the guy with the glass slipper? Yeah, that, that's not real. There are no fairy godmothers going and turning people in, into pumpkins in the Boy Scouts. This is real life. Did you submit your tax forms this year? I didn't pay my taxes, didn't sign them for the draft. I believe in an America. That is not Boy Scouts. As Scout espoused by Ron Paul, you know, that. The idea that the individual should fight and destroy the state, you know, for capitalism, laissez-faire. For capitalism? For capitalism. The state inhibits capitalism, you know. Uh, in what ways have you contributed to global warming? Well, after a long night cooking beans by the fire, I can safely say that I've personally raised the methane content in our atmosphere by 2 to 3 percent. Are you selling Girl Scout cookies this year? No. So popcorn, dude. Okay, Chris. Um, I don't think you're going to make it in the forest, so... Is that a challenge? It's a statement. I don't think you're going to make it out of this room alive if you keep talking like that. You know what, Chris? I have so many badges and honors that go beyond your sash. Do you have... I actually have three Boy Scout sashes. Do you have Carbon Tree Merit Badge, which was only issued in the year of 2012, with gold foil lining? I have, I have eight of them. Do five. you have personal fitness? Do you have Indian lore? You tell me. That's a bare arm. <laughs> All right, Chris. Thank you for joining us on Scrambled. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. This might not continue in the future. I think your time here with us is short. Your time on Earth is short. So thanks for watching Scrambled. We hope you enjoyed that episode. And tune in next time for a great show. <laughs>